Oh gosh. Not this kid again. I am so sick of your Welcome back everybody to the <laughs> so professional this game. So, <laughs> welcome back everybody to the professional and professionals. My name is Gabriel. I realize we don't introduce <laughs> ourselves every video. We don't. <laughs> which might be confusing to some people. My name is Gabriel, and with me is my friend Ethan. Yes, that's me. No, and I'm Gabriel. Please don't make it more confusing. <laughs> I've already forgotten our who voices, I am. I've already voices forgotten who I am. Enough. Oh god. Dude. Dude. Not uncool. You're... Hey, dude, this dude, bear... I got clothes and stuff. <laughs> dude. That's harassment. I got the barrel for Don't you dare No! No! <laughs> Don't you dare throw fire in my barrel. <laughs> That's my barrel space. <laughs> my barrel space. Barrels. Barrel. Oh, my barrel there. That's also my favorite element. <laughs> barrel. Oh, we're gonna have to explain the speed up thing for the third time in a row. Yes, this is an emulator. I can actually do some Cheat. crazy high speed. Mm, yeah. Not here though, because I don't want to waste any more of our time on this. On the Forsaken Fortress, also known as my recording studio. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It, it's true. It's built like a fortress. Yeah, We've I, got one way in and one way out. Every time I say to my parents, my office, they're always like, your office? <laughs> Who carried you for nine months? Was it your office? No, it was your mother. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm always like, I guess, I guess, mom. I, I guess. <laughs> I I actually spend more time in this office than my bedroom. Yeah. I realized that because... Well, because um, you only usually need to use your bedroom for sleeping and changing your clothes. I don't even change my clothes in there. I change my clothes <laughs> in, this, in this office. Cut, cut out the part where he said, in there. So it just... I don't even change my clothes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great. Yes. Uh, yes, ladies. I am indeed a... Garlic wonder... stanker. <laughs> Did I tell you... Um, that I found a website called, like, the top attractive traits in males. Mm -hmm. Don't remember why. I wasn't seeking it out or anything. I don't know why I would. Um, but number that. 10 was smelling slightly of garlic as an attractive trait. And that's the first time I've ever heard of something like that. Yeah, look it up. Look yeah, it up. Yeah, yeah. You finding it? This was updated December 21st, 2020. Nice. Is one of them a mask? Ah, oh, dude, dude, no! Facial hair, sincerity, <laughs> ability to tell a good story. <laughs> sincerity. Okay, I just number one, facial hair. Number two, personality. <laughs> great. Number four, body hair, which is different from facial hair. Okay, great. Signs of physical activity. <laughs> it's no secret that. that be, that beyond considering the features of women's faces, heterosexual men look at women's legs and use that as a trait to determine physical attractiveness or sexual attraction. But biological sciences show that legs are important to women too. Developed calf muscles and good hip ratio are something that women notice. Developed calves and good hip ratio are hot because they not only look good, Is they this mean like that you're physically active. <laughs> I'm waiting for them to say, according to Harvard University. <laughs> yeah, no. Researchers at the university. <gasps> Wait, where? Which university? <laughs> Please be Harvard. <laughs> so, <laughs> honey, at the university. What, what are you majoring in at Harvard? Oh, calf circumference. <laughs> <laughs> Medically reviewed by Cecil Boyd. Who? Cecil Boyd. Okay. I, I thought you said sassy. Sassy Boyd. Oh, this article is by sassy old boy. <laughs> A feminine side. Oh, cool. <laughs> A sense of humor. Being into music. <laughs> really? Well, good thing I am into music. Intelligence. <laughs> is that really on there? Number <laughs> nine, intelligence. Should I, should we read the, what do men really want in a woman? No, that'd be sexist. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do not fear, I am not your enemy. Indeed, Biscatton, I have been watching you since you were young. 
I can't, uh, dude, I'm so tired, like, dyslexic tired, that, like, I couldn't... You I... didn't make your Facebook account private, so I followed you without <laughs> you noticing. <laughs> Wait, your sister, yes. I understand how you desire to protect your sister. Your sister. Yeah, your she sister. hasn't... She's mostly Instagram and TikTok, all those kids. Oh, those millennial Giving kids. Giving out their, their private information on social media. You know, you should all be more careful about social media. Really? I suppose you saw him. The shadow that commands that monstrous bird. Ah Do I he's in this game? <laughs> Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. His name is Derek. <laughs> he who obtains the power of the gods. I love the, the smiley gods. face on the back of his jacket. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard, I heard that you ordered the red meat. The Emperor of the Dark <laughs> Realm, the ancient legends speak of. I do not know why the seal of the gods has failed, but now that Ganon has returned, the world is once again being threatened by his evil magic. <laughs> I heard he's an Aquarius. Tell me, Biscatton, <laughs> do you still wish to save your sister from him? And will you do anything to save her? <laughs> Even take this personality diagnostic. I want to know if you have cancer. I see. In that case, I shall guide you as we go forward, advising you on what you should do based on your sign. I heard he's an Aquarius. Ganon cannot be defeated by human hands, let alone by boat hands. I tried. <laughs> I tried. That's, that's why I no longer the have The key to hands. defeating Ganon is locked away in a great power that you can wield only after much toil and hardship. Get it? Hardship? Like me? i made of wood. <laughs> Do you understand? Shut up! Shut up. <laughs> in that case, we depart to the Great Sea. Ah, but I'm getting ahead of myself. Get it? Ahead of myself? I have a head and I'm a boat? Stop! <laughs> This is actually a bit embarrassing. Okay, for this me is to an admit. intervention. Yeah. Yeah. What? Are you mad about the innuendos or the boat puns? Knock it off. <laughs> Knocking on wood, which I am made out of. <laughs> but although I am indeed a boat, <laughs> that was that was too easy. That felt scripted, and I didn't even know. <laughs> oh my god! You set me up, but I possess no sail. Sail. And a boat with no sail can <laughs> sail no seas. <laughs> Shelly bought seashells by the seashore. She seashell sold them to salmon. I have brought you far to the east of the dark the gaze of a forsaken game. fortress. The birds you know, forever stuck. <laughs> <laughs> I think that might be the emulator's fault. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ah! Oh. The necrosis has set in. <laughs> On this island is a town of necrosis. <laughs> That's that's why they'd be like that. <laughs> also, gravity. Also, gravity. I do like that's the, the way. Mario Brothers and Plumbers are okay, and we're not like <clears throat> the others who get <clears throat> all the fame. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen the um uh the drug PSA that the guy who plays Mario in those cartoons? <gasps> what? Yes. What is, what is it? Um. Look up Mario Drug PSA right now. Welcome to Miss Marie's School of Joy. <laughs> and if you do drugs, you go to hell. <laughs> Alright, so I gotta go talk to the Killer B gang for the teachers, so then we'll go to school. If you don't watch the Super Mario Brothers TV show, you're gonna turn into a Goomba. Ah! If you don't watch the Super Mario Bros. Super Show, you're gonna be waterboarded in Korea. How Why are you on the show looking so sad? I think it's fun to go walking through town again. Okay. <laughs> you can't keep making jokes like that in Russian festival, man. You gotta keep me talking. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Drug. <laughs> Except the mushroom. <laughs> Alright, 
So do you want to play this? I, I have to ask this to our audience and to you. Do you want to play this legitimately or do you want to cheat with cheat. this time lapse thing cheat. to save time? Cheat. Cheat. <laughs> this takes forever. Oh, I want rupees. Nope. No! See, that's what happens when you cheat. Cheat. You don't get paid money. Cheaters always prosper. High atop this island's peak lives the spirit really of the sky. Like the great gamer dragon who does nothing but sit on his fat name of the Valu. <laughs> An epic gamer in his room. You must go see this dragon and request from a jewel called Din's Pearl. He was the first one to join the FaZe clan. <laughs> <laughs> you ever tried starting a clan in Clash of Clans? No. It's impossible! Everyone's so mean! I, have you ever tried starting a clan on Call of Duty uh, Xbox 360 days? No. Like a Black Ops 2? That game has guns in it. I uh, people... play it. <laughs> right, sorry. Blah, 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 blah. Do you want the stick? Do you want the stick? I have the stick! <laughs> yes, the stick! <laughs> This is the Wind Waker. It is the baton of sorts that was, I don't know, of sorts, whatever. It's a, whatever. I it's just, the Wind I've had whatever. I've this thing in my throat the whole time. My favorite Zelda game, the Wind whatever. No. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> it is a baton of sorts that was used long ago you when people... Play, you ever play the, the Wind whatever? Play Zelda Wind whatever? <laughs> wind whatever, whatever. What was it called? Oh, in those days, Simp using it aloud will borrow... <laughs> The power of the gods, but I do not know if it still works. Stop. <laughs> I get Ethan with the weirdest stuff. <laughs> Is that so? Well, don't worry too much. I'm sure she'll hang in there. Yeah, she's dead. From she'll the... hang. She'll, she'll hang. hang. For her crimes against <laughs> Skyrim and our people. <laughs> I have an idea, Biscotten. Would you like to meet our chieftain? <laughs> I thought it said become our chieftain. <laughs> and I was like, like whoa! No way! Heck yeah! <laughs> Heck yeah. I've told my people here about you, and uh, all of us Rito are very concerned. Will you find the golden your Dorito? Gr <laughs> your grandmother put the the drumsticks in the stew, didn't she? That was my brother. <laughs> <laughs> These seagulls are, are my second cousin. Yes, we're all related to the birds. It's settled then. I'll fly on ahead <laughs> and let everyone know that you're coming. And as soon as the wormhole is complete, I will come over to the other side of the world and pull you through. And we'll come out of the stew together with my brother. <laughs> we'll come out of the stew. I'll be waiting. A steamy hot mess. Yes. Two boys in a pile of soup. Put a lot of stock into it. Wrong? You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know anything about soup. Beef stock. I don't know anything about soup. What is it? Oh, well, it's like it's like beer, but it's not alcoholic. Soup? Yeah, it is. There's also a pizza. Is it a stew? It's pizza. <laughs> it's pizza. <laughs> it's a sandwich. <laughs> You're a pizza. <laughs> uh, well, have you discovered the cause of the Great Valu's anger? <laughs> oh, hello. So, you are Biscatton, aren't you? <laughs> Quill has told me all about you. Get it, Quill? Because he's a bird. And birds have feathers that can be used as quills. Actually, that involves picking feathers off of us, which we really don't like, so actually stop that. Well, uh, a troubling feathers tale. Feathers fall off naturally. But we didn't give consent. <laughs> I insist that you let us know if there's anything we can do to help you. What, if you were if something was growing off of you and I just took it? Oh, it comes back, it's fine. Well, no, it falls off on its own. Yes, so but I keep it. it fell it. off and they... <laughs> but it's not it. yours. <laughs> <laughs> so you're telling me you keep every strand of hair that falls off your head? What? Hair? What? We don't care about hair. We're talking about feathers here. <laughs> <laughs> well, we shall do everything in our power to assist you. This is the bird guy you were before. The raging dragon perched at top of the mountain. Hey, baby girl. <laughs> As you can see, we of the Dorito tribe are profoundly connected to the sky. We make our livings on the airways. Life is an airway. I'm gonna All black right. market my feathers oh. now. We <laughs> do so by talking? graces of the sky okay. spirit. Come on, come on. Sorry, just these Zelda game dialogues are... <laughs> they they offer a lot of information. <laughs> if this continues, the fledglings who are of age will never be able to receive scales from Valu on the dragon roost. I, need to, I have a bit, but I need to find Can that Can you go up to I the coffee shop? Before. You know, it's called the Dragon Roast. Can you please get me a large venti? A large venti. A large venti uh, smoke-a-crap cone. They'll smoke remain... Smoke-a-crap? Oh, yeah, that was a bet I had a while ago. 
they will remain wingless, and in time, our very way of life will be threatened. As Chieftain of the Dorito, my first responsibility is to solve this problem. My apologies, but I must ask you to wait for our assistance until this is done. Will you do so? Yeah! Yeah! Yo! Chieftain, what do you think about consulting for Scott with regards to your son, Prince Tamale? I feel certain that Prince Kamale would open his heart to him and speak freely of his fears and worries. Interesting. My beak detects bull. <laughs> that may be. <laughs> <laughs> Let me be direct. My son Kamali is Let one me be of clear. The... <laughs> he is of the age to earn his wings. Is he? Yet he is weak. <laughs> he is weak in some ways. Oh and my gosh! Number eighteen on the list of most attract uh, on the list of most wingless. attractive male qualities. <laughs> no, beautiful wings. No, a form of dominance. He doesn't have that. Oh, he's yeah. he's not an attractive man. The ladies will reject him, the ladies, and that's very important in our culture that it, that doesn't happen. He may just give up on ever getting them. By that I mean chicks. Get it? We're birds, so chicks. What say you? <laughs> <laughs> Will, you sh <laughs> <laughs> Will you share some of your courage with my son? Courage? Will you meet with my son? Number fifteen on Yo, the list of yeah. uh, number fifteen on the I list of you. top eighteen most attractive male qualities: having confidence. <laughs> that was it. That was the point. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> I'm gonna every time I can. I'm gonna mention this list. Oh. Of attractive male qualities. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm, gonna I'm gonna go home tonight and memorize this list. Oh, uh, great. Just so you can reference it, like... Non-stop. It'll be the XY you're, thriller. You're talking to a girl, and just casual conversation, and you're just like, Oh, speaking of which... Number six, the smell, <laughs> of, the smell of a man needs to be good and quaint, and full of hormones. Quaint? Quaint. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, quaint. <laughs> How quaint. Your stench is quite quaint, my friend. Your stench is... Okay, who knows? It might come in handy. All right. <laughs> what a stench. Oh, a delivery bag. Thank you. Deliver Thank stuff for us. Oh, that's so nice. Thank you, kind sir. Your hospitality is overwhelming. Whatever, whatever. Hey, if you deliver stuff I'm, for them, I mean, that's number 16 on most attractive male qualities, being a gentleman. Read the dang thing. <laughs> <laughs> you should find a medley in one way, one of the upper rooms. I don't know. Who are you supposed to be? What are you doing oh, in my you bedroom? Got the, you got the ramen noodle orb. I was practicing with my bait bag. Okay. I was rubbing my orb. Oh wait, I have to give you the message from your father. That's right. No. What? I have to go up and talk to medley. I have to go talk to medley. <laughs> I forgot. It's because I'm not paying attention. You're so lame. I'm so bad at video games when I'm playing on my video game show. And I, I knew it, so I'm obviously paying more attention than Apparently. I'm a better gamer. What are you I'm doing? saving so much time. <laughs> <laughs> Get in the door! <laughs> hey, Medley. How's it going? Can you put that, like... Yo, like, how's it going? That copyright-free, like... Chicken run music. What is it called? Chicken run music. <laughs> Chicken run music. <laughs> That's Mario sixty four though. <laughs> Honk. Wow, you really do have green clothes and a strange shaped hat. I'm really good at first first How impressions. I like to insult everyone I meet. This cat, he wants you to give this oh directly to Prince Kamali. I just remembered the bit about her talking about taking off her nose. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the nasal cavity the bit that we had last time. Bit. Uh, uh, that was good. I'm we've accepted it. Father's letter. Yep, we lost that bit and all explanation of it, so don't even ask. Don't ask. About Medley's sweet nasal cavity. Oh, man. It's so hot and moist. Oh, Ugh. <laughs> Okay, let's go. Huck! <laughs> it's not like he's the one who went through that horrible experience. It's not like he still has to get a scale from Valu. You're in this letter too, you know. 
poking your nose in front of other people's <sighs> business. You're nosy, aren't you? Well, a little less nosy than you and your sister. Because <sighs> y'all have big noses! Sorry, but I really don't feel like going to see Baloo right now. Huck! I wouldn't have asked if I Shut didn't up. need help desperately. You see this place? There used to be a spring here, surrounded by a beautiful pond. It was peaceful and Beast. lovely. Bader. But then the great Baloo, he became so angry, and in his rage, he shook the mountain, and his boulder crashed down, plugging the spring. As you can see, the result. Hmm. Oh, but where is my mind? I actually don't know. Let me go find it. Tell me, how was Prince Kamali? Of finding Frankenstein's brain. Was he still here. a selfish jerk? Oh, that doesn't sound right. Not at all. I may be partially to blame for the bad. <laughs> <laughs> I may be partially to blame for the bad background noise, but to turn down Prince uh, see Prince Kamali's grandmother was the grateful loose former attendant. She was an amazing woman, and I was honored to have her as my teacher. But your grandmother made her into a vortex soup! <laughs> <laughs> she was that kind all. and brave, that. and unsurpassed in her dealings with the Great Baloo. I'm not yet worthy of being mentioned in the and same breath of the wild as her- soup! <laughs> <laughs> everybody, hate, everybody hates Link's grandma. That She's a tag! She's a terrorist! <laughs> She's been turning people into vortex soup for ages. <laughs> okay. I finally, I finally got the proof. I need to lock that old witch up. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> if only I possessed some of her strength, I'm sure Prince Kamali would have felt more secure. Biscat, and I'm sorry to ask this, but I need your help. Wheel of Fortune. First, I'm gonna need your uh, the expiration date of your credit card and your uh, <laughs> the three final digits of your credit card yes, number. Yes, I do need the and expiration date number. of that cream cheese in your refrigerator. It will go bad faster <laughs> than it says. <laughs> I want you to go to the small shrine that's near the peak of the dragon roast. <laughs> that's where our best coffee comes from. <laughs> the dragon roast. You guys put cream cheese in your coffee? Yes. Actually, what is wrong with you? I, I don't know. I don't know, but that's the ledge over there is so high. If I could get some wind under my wings, I'm sure I could get up there. Man, the dialogue in this game is our richest source of comedy, I have to say. <laughs> I cannot believe it. Will you help me? Hamburger help. Why is it sideways? Woo! Thank you so much! Waha! Okay, pick me up. Pick me up like you like it. All right, then face that ledge. Take my nose off. <laughs> Pull it off! Pull it off, buddy! <laughs> if it's fake, it's a fake peak. Just take it off. It's okay. I've got a normal nose. I'm not exactly bursting with confidence, but look, if anything <sighs> happens to me, please look after Prince. You Kamali. guys should react to Mega Mind on Cinematic Fanatics. Oh, I'd love that. I just don't know if I can compete. <laughs> compete? Yeah. Our our comedy's not funny enough to. <laughs> I'm, I'm, just, I'm just kidding. Uh, I actually was trying to explain to my parents why we don't watch a lot of comedy movies on the show. And it's actually because it doesn't work tone-wise to be making jokes over a movie that already doesn't take itself seriously. Yeah. It doesn't work like as a dynamic. Like, you guys couldn't watch Dumb and Dumber. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't work as a dynamic. And as soon as I told them that, Ariel is like, you're just meaning to say you can't compete with the movie, right? And I'm like, Sure. No, no. <laughs> it's a dynamic issue. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's so mean. <laughs> you can't compete, can you? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> I, could, I could compete. No, I don't think you can. Oh, well. And mom, like, got in on it. And she's like, you just can't compete. And I'm like, everyone's ganging up on me. <laughs> I told you exactly why. Okay, well... You, Gabe, you just can't compete. You, you just can't compete with that movie. You just gotta accept it. Alright. Oh, Good thing these grow back so fast. If only agriculture actually worked that way. Only you were actually good at basketball. You know, I'm weirdly good at sports. If only oh, I cared yeah, about totally. sports. That's not a joke. Yeah. I was a really good football player. Oh, are you? 
Do you actually not believe me on this? I don't. I, 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 I really was not joking. <laughs> oh, seriously? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I genuinely don't believe you. <laughs> I genuinely don't trust you. Well, I, uh... I, there was like a football. Oh, I went to get McDonald's the other day. I don't trust you. <laughs> I don't trust you. Ooh, and your McDonald having ways. Was it good? Yeah. That's crap. <laughs> You're lying to me. I know it. Welcome to the Dragon Roast Cavern. The best beverages in the United States. Why is that one green? Of Ocean Wind Waker. <laughs> Why is that one green? Because it's moldy. Oh, I see. And not involved in the puzzle. It looks stagnant, therefore is, and is not going to be touched. Pull it anyway. Yeah, and we're going to pull you anyway. We're going to pull you. We're going to pull you in. Okay, it's not working. <laughs> All right. Here's some enemies that are totally going to hurt me so much. Oh, this is so painful. Oh my gosh, you're so difficult. You just cheated. You turned on easy mode. <laughs> <laughs> I believed and it was <laughs> over. <laughs> well, that's because I used this. <laughs> And oh went and smacked gosh. it a bunch of times. <laughs> oh my gosh. Thai crab rangoons, they get called money bags. I didn't know that. Yeah, fun fact. Yeah, that's an Ethan fun fact for you. It's been a while. Yeah, it's been a while. I don't Ethan fun fact, starring Gabriel. Have I talked about Greek have I have I start, talked about Greek fire? Uh no. Okay, Greek fire so do you know what napalm is? Yes I do. So it's basically ancient Greek napalm. Oh, yeah, because it's fire that sticks to you, mm -hmm, and you can't mm -hmm. put it out with water. And you know what? how they used it? They would load it in tubes mm -hmm. on their ships, their wooden boats, and they would drive, they would drive, they would, they would boat over to another boat, yep. they would light the tube, and they would push the tube over and pour it onto the other boat, often lighting both boats on fire. Oh, that's the intelligence of the Greeks. <laughs> I mean, it's a genius plan mm -hmm. if you don't light your own boat on fire. Yeah, you just need to get, you know, another thing, like gunpowder to <laughs> launch it. <laughs> well, the coolest thing about uh, Greek fire is that, like, it's not recreatable. Really? That's the, like, that's, to this day? Yeah, to this day. Like, no one, like, it's I mean, it's, it's, not, it's literally what? napalm. Uh, no, but it, so it acts like napalm, but it's, it's like, chemically different. I'm pretty certain we know what Greek fire is today. Well, okay, it's napalm, but they, like, ancient napalm, so it wasn't actually napalm, but it was similar to it. Okay, it doesn't matter what recipe it is, if it makes cookies, it's a cookie recipe. <laughs> okay, okay, fair enough. <laughs> you know what? That's a good science. But that, You'll never that, that know my secret ingredient. <laughs> but see, here's the thing. Let here's me guess, thing. does it begin with a G? But you know, a... grease. <laughs> Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Okay, here's the thing. But are they the same thing? Um, they do the same thing. So is a sugar cookie the same thing as an oatmeal raisin cookie? I guess they have different ingredients. But are they the same? Yes. No. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Ethan, fun fact, starring Gabriel Johnson. Shut up. <laughs> 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 sorry, sorry, man. I was waiting for you to say, "Why would that be starring you?" 